Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Skincare by Drew. This channel is going to be an informative channel with reviews, monthly favorites, and more. And it's going to focus around hopefully affordable skincare and acne care and for oily skin or really any kind of skin. Um, the reason I started this channel is because when I'm doing skincare, on, when I'm doing research on skincare, and I do quite a bit, I've noticed that there's kind of a gap. A lot of the people that talk about skincare are older, um, not like old, just like adults. So they're focused more on anti-aging or maybe like makeup products. And so this channel is going to be focused more around younger people and not makeup, just skincare from my perspective, what I've dealt with, um, and not spending a ton of money because that's another trend that I've noticed is very expensive skincare and that doesn't always equal the best products. So I'm going to help you guys find hopefully cheaper skincare to really get the best skin you can at a good price and to hopefully just be as informative as possible. So for this first video I'm going to film my current collection and it is growing and um, I'm going to be doing reviews of all of these and over time if there are products that you guys want to see reviewed you can always submit that to me or if you have any questions feel free to let me know I'll get back to you I will be posting a good amount of videos so this is just the first one and um, yeah bear with me I'm gonna get right into the collection I'm gonna start with cleansers and then move on to toners and treatments and then eventually into moisturizers so the first cleanser that I'm gonna talk about is Neutrogena's ultra dental daily cleanser this is the foaming formula what I really like about this is how gentle it is and it doesn't leave my skin feeling over dried which is a thing that can really happen with cleansers. I use this morning and night now um, and it's currently my go-to cleanser. Um, a cleanser that I used a lot last summer that I really still enjoy is Herbalism from Lush. This is a green, very natural cleanser and it doesn't last very long because it is so natural. Um, it's very good for oily skin as it contains a lot of like rice vinegar oil and other things to help soak up that oil in your skin. Another cleanser from Lush that I have is Aquamarina. Now this is more for dry skin. It's very good for sensitive skin, dry skin as it contains a lot of moisturizing products. Um, and as with the other Lush one, they don't really last very long because they are preservative free and 100% natural. Next I have just regular coconut oil, cold pressed, 100% organic, and this is great for not only moisturizing, but using for cleanser at night if you're going to double cleanse, this is a great first step. I use it all the time just to cut through kind of the dirt and stuff that builds up on your skin throughout the day. Next we'll be moving on to toners. At night I like to, I recently started using an apple cider vinegar toner in an old Lush toner bottle. And once I've been using it for a while, a review will be up on that, but first impressions, I'm really liking it. Another toner that I bought recently is this Burt's Bees Garden Tomato Toner, and I use this in the morning because it really helps to mattify my skin because it is for oily skin. Um, again, I've only been using it for a few weeks, so as time goes on, I will have a review of it up with my final thoughts. Another toner that I have that I'm really liking is Breath of Fresh Air by Lush. This is made with um, salt water and a lot of other ingredients to really calm down your skin. I use this sometimes at night after my apple cider vinegar toner if my skin's feeling just kind of beat up that day from everything that I've put it through. Um, yeah, it's a great toner. And my favorite toner from Lush is probably Tea Tree Water. This is really good for oily skin. It contains tea tree oil, which everyone knows is good for acne. Um, I've been using this for a few months now and I've noticed that it really does help mattify my skin along with a couple other products that I'll be showing you later on in this video. Um, this will be one of the first products that I will review when that comes out, so watch out for that. And next I'll be moving on to a couple of prescription treatments that I have and this is what really kind of um, helped remove all of my acne and along with some of these other products I think these were really like the the forefront. So in the morning I use Axone gel. Um, I started using this almost a year ago and it really has completely cleared up my acne with the help of these other products that I've seen. Now these are not, when used alone, nothing, no one product will cure your acne. You need like a routine is what's going to do it. So like cleansing, treatment, moisturizer, all these things are vital. But these as treatments really will do the trick. Um, so I use this in the morning and in the afternoon every day. 
in the evening, I was actually prescribed Epiduo. So that's what I use at night. And um, this is a little bit drying, but again, it's a great, like, I really feel like it's very powerful and it's doing what it's supposed to. And now I'm going to move on to a couple of moisturizers and a couple of other things that I have. That was it for my toners and cleansers. Um, the first thing that I have is this Body Shop Vitamin C Peel. This I'm really enjoying so far. I haven't had it for a very long time. Um, it's good for just exfoliating and it makes my skin feel just kind of fresh. Sometimes there is a little bit of a tightness there that is not always great. So I'm not, I don't always use it and I'm not like loving it, but I do enjoy it. Another kind of exfoliant type product that I love to use is the Acne.org AHA Glycolic Acid 10%. This is a powerhouse. I used this actually just last night and I use it all the time for a couple of years now. I've been using this and you can just feel your skin being greatly chemically exfoliating. It is tingling and it does burn at first, but you can just really feel like it's working and the next morning you wake up and your skin is so smooth. It really is a miracle worker. Next I have a couple of oils that are great for using on their own or adding to moisturizers. I have coconut oil here, and this is the one that I will put directly on my face more as a moisturizer, whereas the other one I do use as a cleanser. This is great um, for adding to moisturizer, as I said, to just give my skin that extra kick of moisture at night that I need. I don't use this in the morning because it will make my skin more oily throughout the day, which is not really what I'm looking for. This is from the brand Oil Allergy. I also have rose hip seed oil here, and this is 100% natural. Um, and rosehip seed oil is great for scar reduction and it promotes cell regeneration. And so something that my skin that I've struggled with is hyperpigmentation and um, acne scarring. So a lot of my skincare is focused around fixing that right now. So this, um, we'll see. Next we'll get into moisturizers. In the morning, my all-time favorite moisturizer is Enzymian from Lush. Now this is, on the pricier side, probably one of the more expensive skincare products that I currently own, but it packs a major punch. This is one of those products that if I don't use in the morning, I can tell right away. It has a product, it mattifies my skin so well, and if I don't use it, I'll be oily very quickly throughout the day, and if I do use it, I can I get home from school or after work and I'm still not oily. So it really is one of those holy grail products for me, and a full review will be coming up very soon on this. And another thing to note about Enzymian is I use it in conjunction with the tea tree toner water and those two products together are dynamic. They work so well and um, those are one of my favorites. Another facial moisturizer from Lush that I use at night is Skin Drink and this is really rich and it's very oily and it's a heavy, heavy moisturizer. So it's great at night. It makes your skin feel very luxurious the next day, very good the night of and it's great for just if your skin's feeling dry or flaky, especially in the winter, it will get rid of that very quickly. A brand that I've loved for, um, with moisturizer for a long time is Neutrogena. Two that I have right now are their Oil-Free Moisture, Sensitive Skin, and SPF 15. This is what I use as sunscreen in the summer on my face. That's another very important thing, is making sure that your face doesn't get sunburnt. So in the morning, in the summer, this is one of my products that I will always go to. And uh, this one, this is what I use more at night. I'm a swimmer, so when my skin gets really, really dry and painful, this is the only thing that I can put on my skin that won't make it burn. Um, so it's really a powerful product in that way, and it is one of my favorites. Another product that I picked up really recently is this Vitamin C Skin Boost Instant Smoother, again from the Body Shop. It's in the same range as the Liquid Peel. And vitamin C is one of those products that um, I haven't used for a long time, but I just recently started using it and it has made such a difference in my skin. And I really feel like it just makes my skin glow and feel great, especially in these months. So it's something that I'm really going to be exploring um, in the future, so you can watch out for that. Um, another product that I actually just got is this Zero Shine Oil-Free Mattifying Lotion from Willa. And I'm going to try to use this in conjunction with Enzymian just to see, kind of compare, because I'm always looking for new products and just seeing how things will work. So um, I'll keep you guys, keep you guys updated. Um, another thing that I like to use, I picked this up last summer, 
This is the Lano Cream Bee Venom Face Mask. This contains royal jelly, propolis, collagen, and elastin. Elastin, rather. Um, it's a really good kind of a face mask night cream that I use over the summer, and it it's very tingly. It burns a little bit um, because of the bee venom and that kind of stuff in there, but it does work really, really well, and it's just another kind of heavy cream to switch things up sometimes that I really enjoy. So that's it for my collection. Um, in the future, you can look out for, I ordered a bunch of products from The Ordinary that I will be giving first impressions of, maybe an unboxing, and eventually a full review of. Um, I'm looking into Drunk Elephant skincare, so that stuff will be coming, as well as just a bunch of other products to try out. So stay tuned. I will have links to everything in the description. And um, follow my Instagram, at Skincare by Drew. This is my first video, so bear with me. Um, subscribe if you enjoy, drop a like, a comment, if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know. If you have suggestions as to products I should review next, I'm super open to that and I'm always looking for new skincare to try. So until next time, have a great day everyone.